So today our topic is superposition theorem. Superposition theorem states that in a linear circuit containing multiple independent source like this, here you can see we have two independent voltage source. Okay. The response of voltage or current across any element like this one, this one or this one can be determined by the considering the individual contributor of each source separately while the other source are turned off. That means suppose if we need to calculate the total current in this resistance then we need to take this source at a time at that time this will be turned off okay and then when we consider this source then this source will be turned off. I will explain this one in the following circuit okay suppose this resistance is r1 this resistance is r2 this resistance is r3 and this voltage source is v1 and this voltage source is v2 okay and we need to know the current i flow through the resistance r3 okay so what superposition theorem say we need to take only one source at a time okay so step one We can draw this circuit like this. Only voltage source V1. Okay. Now what we need to do with the voltage source V2? We need to replace this voltage source by its internal resistance. And in my previous videos, I already told you the internal resistance of a voltage source is zero. Right. So that means this will be short. Then R1. R2 and R3. Due to voltage source V1, we consider a current will flow from here. This will be I1, this will be I2, and this will be I3. Okay. So this I1, I2, and I3 current is just for the voltage source V1. Now we need to go for the voltage source V2. Then we need to draw another circuit with the voltage source V2. So now we need to replace the voltage source V1 by internal resistance that means short circuit r1 r3 and r2 and let's connect voltage source v2 for voltage source v2 we consider a current will flow from here is i3 dash here i1 dash and here i consider i2 dash okay then superposition theorem states that the current across any element in the circuit can be determined by considering the individual contributors okay that means we can write down this current i will be i2 plus i2 dash okay suppose we assume that this current is ix then what do you write down ix will be i1 minus i1 dash why i write down minus as you can see the i1 dash current direction is opposite from the ix right and i give the current direction from v1 to this node that means we consider i1 will be higher than the i1 dash that's why i write down ix will be i1 minus i1 dash okay and if i consider this one iy then i can write down iy will be i3 minus i3 dash okay so it's very simple step one draw the circuit with only one voltage source and other voltage source will be replaced by the short circuit and if there is a current source then what you need to do we to replace that current source by the open circuit as internal resistance of the current source is infinity okay then step two will be draw the circuit with the another source okay and then calculate the individual current and then what do you need to do we just need to check the direction of the current and then do the addition or subtraction it's simple okay now let's go to the problem here we have to solve a problem is coming in the cu 2019 okay this is a cu previous year question here they told us state superposition theorem for a network of electrical circuit right i already explained this one using this theorem find the potential drop across 5 kilo ohm resistance that means we need to find out the potential drop across this one right so what is the potential drop across 5 kilo ohm resistance will be i if i consider this will be i then i multiplied by 5 kilo ohm this will be the voltage across the 5 kilo ohm resistance so we need to calculate the current across the 5 kilo ohm resistance 
okay now you can see in this problem we have two source two independent source one is 18 volt voltage source and another is 6 milliampere current source so what we need to do first we need to consider one source at a time okay so what we can do redraw the circuit by one voltage source and this will be open circuit why this will be open circuit as internal resistance ri of a current source will be infinite okay that's why i just make it open circuit now we need to calculate the current here i assume this one is i right here i assume this will be i1 so what will be the value of i1 i1 will be 18 divided by 2 kilo ohm, 5 kilo ohm, and 3 kilo ohm all is in series, right? In my Thevenin's theorem video, I already told you how to calculate the equivalent resistance, whether it is series or parallel, right? Here you can see these three resistance are in series. So we can write down 2 plus 3 plus 5, right? That means I will be, I1 will be 1.8 milliampere, okay? So we already got the one current with the 18 volt voltage source right now next go to the another voltage that means only 6 milliampere so step 2 2 kilo ohm so voltage source will be replaced by the short circuit six milliampere 5 kilo ohm and 2 kilo ohm and here 3 kilo ohm okay so the direction of current will be this side this side, this side, and this side. Okay, so what do you need to do? We need to apply the current division rule, right? So here I assume this current is I2. Okay, so I2 current will be applying current division rule in this particular node. Then we can write down the opposite direction will be how much? 2 and 3 in the series, 5 kilo ohm. So 5 kilo ohm divided by what is the total resistance? Here 5 and here 5, that means 10 multiplied by. 6 okay that means it will be 3 milliampere okay so for the 6 milliampere voltage source we got the current will be 3 milliampere and for the 18 volt voltage source we got the current will be 1.8 milliampere right so we can write down the total current i will be 1.8 plus 3 milliampere that means 4.8 milliampere okay now we already got the current just put the current in this equation we can write down v5 that means the voltage across the 5 kilo resistance will be 4.8 milliampere that means 10 to the minus 3 into 5 kilo ohm okay from here you can write down it will be 24 volt right here you can see the answer is 24 volt so the answer is matched okay so it's very simple whenever you saw any superposition theorem problem at that time what you need to do just do the calculation with only one source at a time okay and when you do the calculation at that time replace the other source by its internal resistance and calculate the individual current or voltage then just do the addition or subtraction it's very simple now let us go to the simulation and see our calculation result is matched with the simulation result or not okay and let's prove the superposition theorem using the simulation so this is a circuit diagram and you can see that we got the answer is 4.8 milliampere that means it's exactly same and the voltage is 24 volt right that means our result by the calculation and the simulation result is completely match okay so now we need to prove the superposition theorem okay or we need to solve this problem by superposition that means we need to replace the current source and use only voltage source and in the second circuit we need to use the current source and replace the voltage source okay here you can see i only use the voltage source and i replace the current source by the open circuit that's why here you can see nothing okay and with 18 volt voltage source only the current flows through the 5 kilo ohm resistance is 1.8 milliampere that is exactly same with our 
calculation result okay now let's go to the second circuit that means where we only use the current source and replace the voltage source by the short circuit and let's see what is the current there here you can see i just replaced the voltage source by the short circuit okay and with only 6 milliampere current source here you can see the current flows through the 5 kilo ohm resistance is 3 milliampere okay that means this is also same as with our calculation result okay here you can see with both the independent voltage source and current source the current flows through the 5 kilo ohm resistance is 4.8 milliampere whereas when you use only 18 volt voltage source at that time current is 1.8 milliampere and when we only use the 6 milliampere current source at that time you can see the current is 3 milliampere for this one you can see the current is downward direction when you use the 18 volt current is downward direction that means these two currents should be at together right and you can see the resulted current is also going flow to the downwards and the current is just exactly addition of 1.8 and 3 milliampere and we can get here 4.8 milliampere hence superposition theorem proved okay so this will be the problem circuit the first one and you need to do the these two circuit this will be the first circuit and this will be the second circuit and at the end you need to see the direction of the current and then add that current or subtract the current by seeing the direction okay so that's all for superposition theorem see you in the next class in my next class now i already covered all of the theorems like kcl kvl thevenin's theorem norton's theorem maximum power transform theorem and superposition theorem okay as i completed all of the theorems my next class will be previous year question from the calcutta university okay where i solve each year circuit theory problem okay thanks bye bye thanks for your time please do share this concept with your friends and if you like this video please press the like button it is really means a lot for me bye bye